You guys, it's your girl Jay Marie. Avery J. And you just tuned in to Dominair TV. We're here with Miss Christian Lopez, one of the upcoming and one of the newest fashion designers. So we're very happy to have Miss Christian Thank Lopez you. here with us in the building. Yes, yeah, so Miss Lopez, yeah. if um, being that you're up and coming, you are, um, sorry, not artist, up and coming fashion designer, how would you define yourself? I was a woman's ready to wear line, um, very like moderate meets contemporary styles clothing from like day to day wear and to night wear. So you can find a little bit of something for every occasion there. Okay, nice, nice. Great. So growing up, um, where, where are you from by the way? I'm originally from Philly, um, West Philadelphia, okay. born and raised, and then um, I moved to New York for college straight out of high school. I was like, peace. <laughs> um, this is where I'm supposed to be. New York, right? Yeah. That fast pace, especially in the field you were trying to pursue. Exactly. Well. So that was good. Exactly. Okay, cool. Um, go. You went to college? Did you graduate? Yes. I went to FIT for uh, fashion design. I graduated there and I was working for excuse me, the designer and model Alec Weck for our handbag line. I was doing production for them for a while. Okay. And I learned a lot from behind the scenes doing that. And then um, I was always in fashion and I started doing, um, looking at a modeling agency and then I transitioned into designing from there. So, a little cool. bit of fashion. Cool. Cool. <laughs> what model agency did you do looking at? Um, excuse me, major models. Major models? Okay. Which and is actually <laughs> one of, um, I guess, what, one of the top five modeling agencies. Yes, yes it like is. The best nice. Ones. Yeah. It's great. Okay. Did you get a lot of money there? <laughs> Like, you know, above the water. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, right. I'm not like drowning. Yeah, right. Okay, it's good. <laughs> That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So, um, while out, we were actually um, looking you up, and we noticed that you have a supermodel sister, <laughs> right? I and do. her name is uh, Sharice Lopez. Cecily. Ces Cecily, sorry. Cecily, Cecily Lopez. Lopez. So, growing up, you know, I'm an only child, AV as well as an only oh. child. So, did you guys have any type of competition between you guys? Did it she was, always want to be a supermodel? Do you always want to be a fashion designer? Like, I always, before she even, okay, before she got taller than me, <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to be a designer. I just knew fashion was my thing. Okay. Like, I used to watch Clueless and all right, that. Right, right, that's right, that's, right. that's, that's kind of like, you know, got the fashion bug. That's when I was bitten by it. Right. And actually, I used to, it's really weird because I used to, I used to drape clothing on her old sheets and towels and, and curtains that my mom and one and I used to be like go go model show mommy and then it turns out it actually what we like love to do and she when she got taller to me uh she's like mom I want to try modeling and it's like yeah whatever and she kept being very persistent it's like okay we'll try it and it happened to work out like yeah, whatever that happened I mean, keep it in the family <laughs> right faith happens that's <laughs> what happened right. and it worked out she just happened to work yeah. out you know she's five she was five ten and like 14. wow and i'm i'm five <laughs> seven like, and a half now it took me this long to get yeah here. Right. but um yeah and just happened to work out for her and we decided now i mean i graduated fit been working in fashion she's been doing fashion since she was 14. and um so we decided to work together as a family and make it happen you know that's good. That's good. I found that very interesting. I'm like, oh, they was probably arguing or something. Like, no, I'm the better model. Of or, course you know, are. Right? I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we're sisters. We yeah. argue. I'm like, stop taking my clothes and <laughs> stay out of my rim. And, you know, but, you know, we family at the end of the day. So yeah. we love each other. That's what's right. up. That's right. what's up. So um, you're a big time fashion designer. So what type of um, trends or what type of clothes would you de like? Would you define um, your design, your lines? I would say, well, I design for the girl who is sexy. She when she walks in the room, everyone looks at her. They, she just you know captivate people. Uh, so where they don't have to be as subtle, sexy is not necessarily always in your face, mm -hmm. but it may be like a small detail, like a backless detail, or you know, an asymmetrical like. Like hemline or neckline is something very sexy. Whoever the girl designed for it is sexy. It's sexy, one way or another. And she knows her worth. She's you know she's strong and she's she knows that she's not gonna take anything from anyone. Mm, so that's right. who I designed for. Nice. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be designing for the dom so We all be so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you, um, what sexy you know 
celebrity would you like to have, you know, model your clothes? I uh, Or if you haven't had it. Yeah. Yeah, you know? or who I mean, who you you know would love if you feel have like the best look, like a brand ambassador for your brand. I would well celebrity music wise, I love Beyonce. I just mm -hmm. love her body shape. I think she just I love the hourglass figure, so I would say her. Um in acting, I would say Holly Berry or Sharice Theron. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. And then um I don't know. And it, I mean, I'm open to everything. Okay. <laughs> so you're not, you're not, you're not trying to do like that, you know, that one model body type. No, I mean, you know I, mean? I, I think beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. And why discriminate? I mean, everyone should feel special and beautiful. So I mean, if I can help someone feel, you know, great about themselves, I would love to. That's my ultimate goal. I want, right. If I can make someone feel great about themselves, help their self-esteem grow, just even for one night, you know, exactly. like, I'm that girl. If I can do that with my clothes, that's awesome. Like, that's all. And you were saying great. that you were coming up eventually yes. with a plus size line. Yes. In the works, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I do not. I want to offer the line to every as many people as I right. can. Um, I don't want to exclude anyone. So I just actually met with a factory. We're actually talking about it now. I have um, a few sisters who are not like, you know, the smaller sizes and I actually want to include them in a line, get their feedback and make it a family thing. That's the ultimate goal is to make this a family based operation and we just, you know. So something similar to like the Wayans brother. Yeah, the Wayans brother. How their whole family got Yeah, they're all their everything. families all involved. Yeah. They all, you know, who, and it's great working with people you love. Exactly. You have to, we have to go to work and work with strangers that we kind of sometimes hate. <laughs> so why not have your family involved? You know they have the best interest for you, exactly. and you guys will work in for the ultimate goal, which is to make sure everyone's okay. So I would love to do that. Great, great. So um, let's get into your uh, fashion line. Do you have a name? Yes, it's uh, Christian Moran, my first and middle name, and um, I just it just came together. I was thinking about other names, but. Like, so it's it's a, did it take you a while to come up with a, a fashion line or does it does it um the line yeah like the actual like pieces, the actual pieces it's a process i mean you have to be inspired you have to develop silhouettes and shapes and colors and themes and patterns so i mean it's great if you have an actual inspiration like i recent travels between Cecily and i and okay. we just you know talk back and forth it was a lot of inspired by like african prints and like the caribbean and then just actually being here in New York, you know, New York has worked hard every day. We are one of the most busy you know, places ever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't get to escape, so we was like, let's make something a little, you know, kind of like a resort piece for New York if you can't escape to go on vacation. So that was kind of oh, inspiration. Cute. Like yeah. you can wear like the easy breezy dress and then go get a cocktail on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, right, right, right. Like something like that. Like you kind of, at least still you get a little bit of vacation, something element of it. And you guys definitely need to check out her website. We were just on it a couple of hours ago, and it is amazing. amazing. It's simple. It is amazing. You we're not just saying it because you're here, because I'm gonna go and purchase my little pants that she has. And it's so true what you said about um, you know feeling like you're from the islands and stuff like that with the clothing because there's a, it's very colorful, it's very bright. Mm -hmm. So I think that you know you're on the right path. Thank you. you are. Oh, very affordable, guys. That's yes, that's another Hello, thing. Hello, yeah, definitely. You know how we are. <laughs> so it's amazing. Check it out. Great. And what is it? ChristianLoren.com? Yes, yeah, ChristianLoren.com. K R I S T I A N L O R E N dot com. Yes. Um, all right. So you have this big event coming up, this yes. big fashion event, which I know you're like super excited about. Can't so wait. just give us a little bit of what well, that's about. It's going to be the first show we're showing there, BBI, British Virgin Islands in Tortola. Uh, I was invited to participate there by Terry um, Donovan, who's the complete organizer of everything. Um, so he's inviting myself and a few other designers like Cedric Berlindo, Corto, and we're putting on a big, <laughs> oh my God, oh, a big um, fashion event. A lot of top models are coming from New York and they have some models nice. based there in Tortola who will be modeling the collections of my minds and um, a few other designers there. And it's just a big event. There's going to be parties, press, people from New York Times to Huffington Post to I think Essence. A lot of people are coming down just to cover the event. So it should be pretty. So this know, is going to be like your big. They do pretty much, yeah. Exactly. yeah so we're and your sister's actually gonna also model. She's opening and closing, and I'm glad she's she's you know very supportive. My mom is actually doing the videography because she has her own company for that. Yes, and it's like it's basically a big event, and my other sister Latoya is coming down to you know be extra hands, and then I have a great friend of mine, 
uh, who works at uh, CK, and she's coming to help too. But you know the you know logistics of behind the scenes running a fashion show. Right. So it's coming all together, you know, family efforts. So, so I know that day is going to be super hectic for you. How are you going to maintain like your sanity? <laughs> like, are you gonna have a little bit of liquor on the side? I know, have that drink bit, right? afterwards. <laughs> Definitely so afterwards. But um, I don't know. I'm just just make that checklist. Once that if I follow the checklist, that should be straight. Right. That's all. I can have do. you done any um, fashion shows, or have you modeled yourself in oh, fashion no. shows? You know? <laughs> um, I've you know been many fashion shows. I kind of assisted maybe a few, but not many. But I, you know, I know I, I understand how they work. You know, just yeah, this is like a cutthroat. <laughs> that whole modeling just, agency business is different. It's, it's like cutthroat, it's, yeah. get to the point. Yeah. So I know and then you're a female at that. I so know. it's like mm. So you better hold your ground out there, go right. to the boss. Like, <laughs> so my sure question. Yes, um, I was actually um looking into going to FIT, but what Whatever. Happened? <laughs> it's like, it's okay. I'm here now, and we're doing two different things, and it works out. And we still again. We still again. Yeah, we're looking <laughs> But anyway, I was there, and I seen on the wall they had like um, certain pieces and a certain project that you had to do at the end of the year. What was your project that you had to do? The pieces. Um. Well, mine's were. I don't know. I just. Oh, like, I was just trying to get I'm over like, with. I'm like, like what did I do? Our theme was Versace, and uh, that was Drake. the inspiration. Versace. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys. That was the inspiration, and I made because basically everyone has like their term garment they have to do, and then each you pick a theme, and all the classes follow the theme. So by the end, when it's displayed, it looks like a cohesive collection. Mm. So you know we have certain colors, and we pick all that in the beginning, and then we work towards the ultimate goal. So at the end, I had like a sheer black organza pleated blouse with a gold and black and a little bit of cream sweetheart corset mm. and then a big black fluffy tutu like mm. type of thing. And that was my my garment for that. It was, everyone loves it still to this day. I'm over it. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, can I get a tutu? Can I get that corset? And I'm like, girl, bye. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so like 2010. <laughs> right, 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 right. But yeah, but that was our that was our theme was Versace. That was cool. So um, one of the I actually noticed on the website um, some clothing that you have, especially like the one pieces and the dress actually that you're wearing right now. It's um, backless yes. and it has like a heart shape. Mm -hmm. So is that like a signature? Thing for the clothes, or it's just yeah, that was hard corset. Yeah, it's like everything's like, heart shaped now. Yeah, we got yeah, you. You know, we get it. Are we, you in love because of that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> but no, um, I mean, a woman's body is curvy. Mm -hmm. I I think it should be. So I mean, certain details and heart shape, you know, uh, lines and style lines, you know, accentuate certain curves and makes it more flattering or give you that illusion of the smaller waist if you want it. So I just play on that sometimes or even like over the, you know, bust it may actually look like it's enhancing more if you don't have that much. So, you know, it's a play. Or if you do have it, you just, yeah, it's just like, right, right, right. <laughs> pop it up. Back piece. So, you know, it's just, it's just a detail to have fun with. You know, because sometimes you'd be like, oh, that's cute. You turn around and be like, oh, stop. Yeah. Just give them a little bit of extra. That's, you know, part of the element of surprise of throwing that sexy at them when they least expect it. Subtly, not necessarily in your face, but mm -hmm. that's all. So what is your ultimate goal? Like, once you do this fashion I'm show. I'm going to take over the world. All right, good. I'm like, good. <laughs> good. Girl power, let's right go. Right over there. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, ultimate goal is to have my family happy and they all taking care of my friends and then I want to be able to help people give back. That is the ultimate goal. Once I can do that, I feel like uh, I accomplished my mission. <laughs> that, especially, Definitely. I just want to do that, help people. Definitely. Well, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, mentorship opportunities mm -hmm. and how do you feel about mentorship? Do you believe that's something that's needed? Did, have you had mentorship? I, or? not necessarily directly. I haven't like, I didn't sign up for a mentorship, but you have people in your life or people you come in contact with that you, you know, look up to and you take pages out of your book and learn from them. But I do believe in mentorship. I think it's very important. I think if we had actually had more opportunities for that, especially in like, you know, urban communities, I think we'd be, we can get a lot further and accomplish more things. I think it's very important, especially for young, young women. 
and for men too, but I think it's definitely something we should, you know, they should incorporate more in schools or in churches or whatever, this in the community. Right. It's very important. Now, once your fashion line blows up, because I know it will, mm -hmm. will you have any, like, internship Absolutely. opportunities? Absolutely. Because I know a lot of people, a lot of girls that's, you know, I would love to. I, as long as, absolutely, as long as they focus and they're committed and actually um, want to learn, why turn them away? Exactly. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, me. we love you, Christian. <laughs> we love you. She actually is wearing one of her one of her pieces now, <laughs> love it. which is great. So, um, any any other thing you wanted to ask her? Yeah, like what's your Twitter? What's your Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us all of that. All of that. All of that. Yes, yes. 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 we want to Instagram. We want to go with you. As soon as I, you know, get my customized um, outfit, plus, you know, it's pretty easy. Yeah, you know, told you email it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um really simple. Christian, it's Facebook, and then type in Christian Loren with a K. Okay. And then Twitter is just at Christian Loren as well. Everything's on my website too, ChristianLoren.com. But Look me up. And then if girls wanted a, a specific piece, so they could just email you on the website. Email me on the website. Um, yeah. And we'll, we'll see. The, the thing on when, how fast you need it and what exactly you're looking for. Just email me. I'm always open for suggestions too. Nice. Quick nice. question. One quick question before we go. Um, have you um, collaborated with any other designers that created pieces or created events? based on the fashion and what the trend was? Uh, I haven't collaborated with any of the design. Only person really is my sister. Like, you know, we mm -hmm. consult on the actual piece and the designs. But not as of yet, I would. Mm -hmm. but Do you have anyone in mind? That would want to collaborate? Mm -hmm. I don't want to say. No, okay. Nah, I want to wait, I want to wait. Because okay. okay. we'll see. If it happens, that'd be awesome. And if not, uh, let's, let's wait. Yeah, right, right, we'll right. wait. Right, exactly. Let's wait. Right. Beautiful. All right, well, we thank you so much for <laughs> being here with us. You have me like, oh my God, I'm like, I love your clothes already. Thank I'm you. a big fan already. Thank so you. when you come back from the islands, you better bring me my pants that I want online I, I so you. that I could, you know, rock my you. little Christian Loren real quick. I love all my, my, a lot of my customers, they send me pictures of them wearing pieces that they purchase for me. Okay. And it's great to see because you see how differently they style every, everything. And it's just amazing how... You can they change the pants or the dress, it just transforms you get per, per yeah. their style. And so. you just never know, she might pick you as a model. You never know, you might never know, you might never know, you might know, you might know, you might know, you might know, you you got this first only here at Dominant TV. You're ready though. Dominant TV. Signing out. Peace. <laughs>